In this video, we'll be going over how to properly bandage wounds and cure infections in scum. Now, we'll head over to the metabolism section to health, and we have two C2 bleeding injuries. What we need to heal them are either rags or some sort of bandages. So I will uncraft my bundles, head over to metabolism, click on the injury, and we are able to treat it with all of these. So as you click on each bandage, you'll see a white ring go around the bleeding injury. That means that this bandage is going to heal that much of it. If you click on two, it'll be almost there, but not quite. Click on three, it'll be fully bandaging the wound. Then you'll press treat. And the wound will go into its stabilization phase. This small white arrow here if clicked, will give you the option to remove your bandages in case the wound gets infected. Wounds get infected if you roll around in the dirt or if you're wearing dirty clothes. The injury can also get infected if you bandage with dirty rags. If you only have dirty rags on you, it can be a great temporary bandage to be removed later. Now if you have wounds that have this small infection symbol on them, you'll be able to treat them with any sort of alcohol except for beer. You'll click on the alcohol and press treat. And this will disinfect the wound. Another thing that helps are antibiotics. They raise your immune system to help you fight infections. You see how all the infection symbols went away as soon as we took antibiotics. Under contamination, it says external pathogens 3.9% per minute. The wound germs are currently zero, but our immune system only takes care of 3.9% per minute. So, our immune system is taking care of the external pathogens by itself. But if the external pathogens or wound germs were above the immune system, then our wounds would be getting infected and we would have an infection in the untreated section of our health. If we were to put disinfectant on the wound, like we did with this one, the disinfectant is doing 2.0% per minute, which is covering the external pathogens at 2.0 per minute. Our immune system is currently boosted by almost 4,000% because of the antibiotics and still going up. I'm not currently limping now, but if you are limping, try to find painkillers, as this will alleviate the pain and you will soon stop limping. Really good healing items to have are tourniquets. These will immediately close the wound because it stops all blood flow from going to the injury. Last but not least, this diagram shows you where you are wounded. You can target muscles, bones, or even organs. The untreated section is all of your untreated injuries, mostly bleeding injuries, infections, starvation, dehydration, etc. The stabilization section means any wounds that are closing by themselves or wounds that have been bandaged. One extremely useful tip is to hold an alcohol bottle in your hand or hold a rag in your hand and click on the rag and do disinfect. If you use the alcohol to disinfect the rag, it becomes an aseptic rag. Do this multiple times, and your bleeding injury, infected or not, will have disinfectant capabilities. And that is all for today's video. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments about what we went over a second ago. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.